And hello guys, this is Zomlate Night here and welcome back to another YouTube video. I have been I was supposed to make this video for like a good little while now. I've been kinda of holding off to onto it just because I'm lazy. So in this video I'm gonna be completely unscripted. It's gonna be a bit of a lazy video on my end, but hey, at least you guys get to hear what I thought about the current uh game Black Ops 6 the beta. So uh the first week of beta came out and the second week came out afterwards after it was the game was shut down for like a good day or two and these are my thoughts about black ops 6 and what i think about the future for black ops 6 zombies and multiplayer as a whole so we're getting the story off today with the black ops 6 beta for uh black ops 6 beta part one the week one of the first uh installment of the beta and how well me and everybody else has reacted to it. So, okay. First impressions, really good. It was really, really good. The only thing I had to nitpick was the, the Jackal. The Jackal was way too strong. It was way too OP. And I did not expect myself to be streaming that bitch for 10 whole hours when it comes to just multiplayer. And another thing I had to nitpick for the beta is we couldn't even play zombies. We didn't have access to zombies. There was We couldn't even play the Liberty Falls map on, on at its beta form on zombies, unfortunately. But at least uh, with, when it comes to the multiplayer content, they added more onto week two. But for the week one, I'm going to continue talking about this as uh, week one. For Black Ops 6, the Omni movement, it felt it felt okay. It felt really good to me. Um, I did watch a, uh, a whole crap ton of videos about other people's reactions towards the uh, the Black Ops 1 beta during as the days goes on. And I've seen a majority of the people have dog shit onto the how, how it feels for the Omni movement. I never really played on the controller. I don't really know how it feels on the controller. But I could safely say for sure on the mouse and keyboard, it felt really good. I did like the Omni movement. It did felt smooth. And I felt like on week two, it kind of improved a little bit. And for the, uh, the, the whole entire thing where half of the people had to deal with a lot of packet loss and just a bunch of server issues. I never had to experience with that until the very end. And I don't know exactly what happened when it comes to the Call of Duty servers, because one thing I do have to say right now is even when I go onto Modern Warfare 3 after the beta has closed, I'm having a lot more packet issues. The servers are has somehow substantially became worse when I first initially played Modern Warfare 3 for I don't know how many hours, switching from multiplayer to Warzone, back to multiplayer, back to Warzone, the servers has gotten worse somehow, and now I'm getting affected with the packet loss, and I feel like you guys should be able to go ahead and fix that. And and another thing I would like to talk about for uh, Black Ops 6 multiplayer is the 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 skill the score streaks. So. I do remember that uh, on on the personal opinion of Treyarch or Activision that they are going to go ahead and get rid of score streak spamming. What basically what if you don't know what that is, it's basically where you basically pop off and get a bunch of kills and you go ahead and start spamming every single score streak that you have at your arsenal and just sit there and just bomb the fuck out of the map that you're playing on and get, rack up a bunch of kills as you're getting as all these artillery bombs these fucking planes coming in dropping even more bombs across the map or whatever at after you just unload your freaking amount of kills score streaks that you've gotten and earned as you play the game and how they uh responded to that is they decided to make all the score streaks basically weak and uav related and just super super expensive when it comes to getting kills when it uh for these score streaks like the hellstorm missile is was one of the most expensive score streaks that you can unlock or that you can try to grind for within a game for a long time until week two until they came out with a couple of more score streaks and honestly this they kind of really just killed the score streaks with this one because as i'm playing the game yeah, I do like the quickly pop up radio that shows like a little personal radar for like 30 seconds. Then I'll go ahead and get a couple more kills and then go ahead and pop up a full on UAV radar 
And then, but that's a, that's two radars out of the three out of the three slots of the score streaks. Now I tried to go ahead and use the RCXD because that's the next cheapest thing, and I can't even fucking use the RCXD because when you're using WASD, the sent this RCXD controls on P mouse and keyboard are so bonky and it's so bad that I can't even get close to my enemy in order for me to explode and detonate the RCXD car to go ahead and get my kill because. I'm too busy like crashing into the wall, trying to turn around, just awkwardly trying to work my way towards my opponent, and my opponent just sits there, just like, "The fuck is that thing?" Pulls out a fucking pistol and shoots it once, and then um, uh, the score streak's gone. And I, after getting so many kills just to get the little toy car, I can't even get a single kill with it half the time because the controls for the sensitivity of that thing is so dog shit. So hopefully, in the future, if enough people complains about it. Instead of using WASD to turn around and all that shit, why can't we just use our mouse to go ahead and turn our RCXD around and steer with it rather than just using WASD because it does not feel that good when you're trying to control the RCXD. And I have seen complaints, the same exact complaints when it comes to people using a full-on fucking controller. But I... I, I hope they fix the sensitivity for the X60 because I feel like it's just unnecessary for it to be such a struggle to use, especially after you spend like what six or seven kills just to get the RCXD, just for an opponent to fucking destroy your RCXD before you even get a chance to go ahead and get a kill with it. It's absolutely baffling on how they messed up on the RCXD. And another thing I do would like to talk about as well is the fact that um. That the uh, couple of uh, the spawns. Now, I thought when I first seen this issue on YouTube from multiple different YouTubers, I honestly thought it was just a skill issue on their end because I never had to deal with that before. And until I play on the map Babylon, oh my god, the spawns on there needs to be fixed. I could stand right here and then my opponent would stand right behind me two meters away from me and then they can just sit there brrr, or unless i'm a fucking crackhead out of my mind dolphin dive out of there and as i'm in midair fucking dolphin dive pull out my fucking gun and start beaming the hell out of my opponent and sit there and spray at that same spot for multiple people to spawn right there and i think they shouldn't have that issue especially with four years worth of working onto this video game and having at least over 10 years of experience of making these games under your belt i feel like this issue shouldn't have happened for a very long time especially since how experienced treyarch sledgehammer and activision are experienced when it comes to making these games and another thing i do want to talk about is one thing about the zombies is just like with vanguard they failed to make the pause button system but instead to cover up for that they made the save and quit system for his Call of Duty Zombies, and I don't know how to feel about that. At first, it was a bit of a yay for me because I can just go ahead and play the game and then just pause the game and go get my ass up and go to work and then come back just to continue the game. I feel like that is going to be a whole wormhole of tons of glitches that is going to be used and abused when it comes to use, using the save quest system on call of duty black ops 6 zombies and and honestly in my opinion now i'm thinking about it more i think that's just a an excuse for not being able to make a pause button i mean we're not getting an offline mode for zombies and it's we're not even gonna get like a pause button i mean they fucked up with vanguard so why do that when they can make a whole new uh mechanic though if they do uh if if the save and quit system does perform well, I wonder if it's going to be like Bloons Tire Defense Zombies where I can load up onto this map and then save and quit. Go and play a different map. Save and quit. And then choose and swap between maps as I'm do climbing up the high rounds on multiple maps and just sit there and just have all these saves onto, these, onto each map. Unless they're going to limit it to one map at a time. And I hope they limit it to one map at a time because otherwise... I can totally see myself getting bored of Black Ops 6 Zombies fairly quickly when it comes to quitting out of the match, going into another one just to save and quit um, to do this other match and just sit there and just farm high rounds. But 
Another thing I do want to talk about is the ambience for the Black Ops 6 Zombies map. Liberty Falls. Now, they had four years to make this game, chat, and this map looks way too war zony. I can't lie. It, there's no blood in the there's no blood on the on the streets, the cars, there's no dead bodies, there's no fucking rotten like intestines or whatever being sprawled on the random parts of the road or whatever. It doesn't even scream out, hey, a zombie apocalypse just happened here. It to me, it straight up looks like as if there was just a helicopter drops four like operators onto one corner of the map, and then there's another secret cage or helicopters that just dump the fuck ton of zombies on the other side of the map, and then the zombie just goes ahead and goes runs forward towards the players that are on the other side of the map. I cannot believe that Liberty Falls has no ambience, which is an important thing about Call of Duty Zombies, because for years we also we had a huge amount of visual difference when it comes to multiplayer, warzone, campaign, and zombies. And now, when I play multiplayer, I do expect Liberty Falls to look like that. But when I go ahead and play zombies, the HUD and the zombie map looks exactly like you would normally see in warzone. And I'm surprised with four years amount of work put into this game. It feels like everything is just half-assed. It does not look like everything is, like, it does not look like they took their advantage to use up four years amount of time and money into this game where they could go ahead and put all the slice of life stuff into there, all the good textures, all the good mechanics, well thought out, like, assets or game textures or all the mechanics into the game for it to look nice and replenished for Black Ops 6. I had a lot of hope for Black Ops 6 when I first heard about this game getting like four years worth of uh, of wait time for it to be released. So they had four years of time to go ahead and work onto this game. And then fortunately, from what I've seen in the beta, and yes, I get it's a beta. I used to use that same excuse before, but once the beta is released, that basically means the game is done, and that means there's not going to be that much of a difference when the game fully releases. So they could have done better for the beta, and I feel like there is a quite a few COD games that has released over the years with less amount of time than four years, and it looks exponentially way better than what Black Ops Six looks like, but. And I'm going to switch it back over to multiplayer. Hopefully, they do turn down the skill-based matchmaking because for first for the majority of week one and almost all the way to to week two, I have not. I'm one of the weird one percent or other half of the community where I did not feel like the skill-based matchmaking was cranked up to the max. Like you guys see my stream, you can go ahead and go onto my YouTube channel, go onto my live section and watch the whole majority of the 10 hour stream that I live streamed and put onto YouTube about the first week of Black Ops 6 beta. And I have not felt the skill based matchmaking for a good long time after I got used to the game, after I got good at the game. I don't know if it's because I became the sweat on Black Ops 6 or if it felt like there really was no skill based matchmaking for Black Ops 6 at the time. And at the end of the stream, I said, uh, I hope they keep this up. And then I go ahead and hop on Black Ops 6 off cam, like close towards like before I have to wait again until October 25th for me to actually get access to the full game of Black Ops 6. And for some reason, it just feels like my skill based matchmaking is back up to where how it is for Black for Modern Warfare 3, which is absolutely insane. I don't think that is a fun way especially for a casual experience or what's supposed to be this casual experience for multiplayer. I feel like if you want to be sweaty and you want to have skill-based matchmaking, just leave it in rank, dude. Just leave it in rank and work out. Like, why the fuck? Oh, hold on. I just dropped my phone here. Oh, good. Hold on. Oh, good. Hold on. I gotta check my phone here real quick. Okay, we're chilling. But... I feel like if in order to 
have it make sense for a competitive game set at, such as skill-based matchmaking take it out of casuals game modes like seriously you can help put it in fucking hardcore if you want if you need it into the game that badly leave it in hardcore and then have skill-based matchmaking in the ranked game modes in warzone and just leave it as that i really don't see the sense of adding skill-based matchmaking or fucking cranking it up all the way up to the max at the highest difficulty when you're just cat when you're playing normal tdm or domination it does not make no sense to me it apps it it is absolutely mind-blowing that you guys would always have to feel the need to put skill-based matchmaking at its highest in casual game modes. I feel like we really don't need that. What's next? Are you going to add skill-based matchmaking to the fucking zombies and the zombies are going to magically fucking start throwing zombie brains at you at, like with aimbot compa- like with the powers of aimbot due to how sweaty you are in zombies? Like what the fuck? But other than that, uh, so far, that is pretty much it for multiplayer. I do like the maps for multiplayer. They are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. However, at first, I had bad impressions of Babylon because I was getting shit on. I was getting skill issued. And then once I got used to Babylon, I'd say it's an okay map. It's not better than Shipment, but I do like Babylon a little bit more. It, Babylon has grown, grown a, a little bit onto me a little bit. But uh, I'm pretty sure my opinions will change over time as I get a good amount of hours and experience into Black Ops 6. And hopefully, when it comes to zombies, they don't goof up the gobblegums. And they need to go ahead and change up some of the gobblegums or the mystery. Or just take out the mystery box in general. Because I don't see the point in the mystery box. Now that I've heard that they're adding a gobblegum that gives you a free wonder weapon. And also, you're going to be spawning in with your main meta gun loadout. Or whatever the meta of zombies during the time. And you're going to sit there and upgrade it by pack punch tiers, just like in Cold War. After pack of punching it with four weapon rarities of that same weapon, just like in Cold War. Having double pack of punch, just like in Cold War. Basically, Cold War is fully transferring over to zombies on Black Ops 6, which get, completely gets rid of the mystery box, man. I don't understand why they would have the mystery box at this point, or why they would get rid of the relevancy of the mystery box the mystery box was a staple to call the zombies i don't know why they would make it useless and i feel like the ammo boxes could go away as well i just don't understand why they would make the rate the one of the most iconic things that created call the zombies as zombies its own identity a part a huge part of its identity in fact just for it just to become completely useless like why are we even using the box anymore why are we even using the wall weapons anymore because the wall weapons we ain't gonna be touching that shit we're gonna spawn out with our own fucking spaz 12 and pop up a gobble gum and get the fucking wonder weapon as our second slot immediately hell fucking perkaholic can get all the perks right off the bat and then just sit there and just get fucking i don't know shopping free and start pack punching our fucking guns for free and just get free tier three pack a punch and double pop and all that other sh shit rather than and then the only thing you have to upgrade is just to salvage you get get it up to gold and you're set to go then you're pretty much just speed running through the zombie rounds as like as much as you please i really i i don't understand how this is harder than cold war because i remember seeing a reveal or a interview somewhere or a video somewhere where they were going to try to make Cold War zombies. Or they're going to make Black Ops 6. Excuse me. Black Ops 6 zombies. More challenging and harder than Cold War zombies. When they right now they're literally just adding all the same shit from Cold War zombies. Into Black Ops 6 zombies. And then they have an idea like. I know, let's go ahead and add a gobblegum that's going to give the player the, a free wonder weapon out of their ass. And then on top of that, they have fucking all these other gobble, mega gobblegums that are going to be overpowered as hell that is coming into Black Ops 6. And, and just completely getting rid of the purpose of mystery box, wall weapons, and just having that ammo scarcity when it comes to zombies. Like, oh shit, I ran out of ammo. Now, where, what am I going to do? Hit the box or buy the wall weapon? Ah, no, nah, fuck that shit. See that ammo crate over there? I'm going to go buy that shit. We're good to go, chat. 
No, no, no. That is not zombies, dude. This is fucking Warzone. Speaking of Warzone, they instead of adding a craftable shield, instead they just got completely got rid of that. And got rid of the. Uh, I guess they're just being lazy about this one now that you can just sit there and do it. And just use armor plates into zombie and in, into your chest, and that gives you extra health. I understand. I don't on. I honestly don't understand how that is going to make it harder for Black Ops Six zombies to reach high rounds rather than Cold War. I feel like, honestly, I feel like the the newbies of zombies are fucking cooked. Because when I played Cold War, it I gotten into an, multiple arguments that Black Ops 3 is easier than Cold War. Bitch, please, nah. In Black Ops 3, we only had gobble gums and, a, and dead wire for, for the double pack punch. Cold War, you get your hands holding because you're a little baby who doesn't know how to do the Easter egg or get the pack a punch. You have weapon rarities like fucking Fortnite. You can turn this shit to blue, green, blue, purple, gold, and then we have the you can upgrade your fucking gun three separate times and, it, and there's a huge difference when it comes to how much power that gun will hold. And not only that, you can you can have the fucking wonder weapon that does infinite amounts of damage because because the zombie's health is limited and once you do once you're able to one shot a zombie at its max health, you you beat the game. You done. You if you're going for a high round round one hundreds, you fucking did it. You're you're just you're just a god. My god, Black Ops Three is so easy. Yeah, look look at how much skill it takes for us to run run around with our pimped out guns and wonder weapons for for Cold War zombies. It's absolutely mind. It is not Black Ops Three is not easier than fucking Cold War. There ain't no fucking shot. Yeah, you can pop a gobble gum called Perkaholic. You have all the perks. You can still go down with that just as easy. Just don't let five zombies hit you at the same time. Oh, but we got widows. Why? Well, you only got three grenades. Cold War, you have three armor plates, Juggernog. And I believe there's even a perk on there that legit gives you like a final hit, unless I'm thinking of Black Ops 4. But other than that, you also have score streaks. I forgot to mention that too. Yeah, I'm trapped in the corner. Here, call up a radio and somehow I magically teleport my ass all the way up to the sky. I'm in a fucking chopper gunner. That that, that Cold War is not harder than Black Ops 3 zombies. I oh my god, I hate to call you guys out. Some of you guys out for this, but you guys are absolute fucking retards. If you guys think that Cold War is abs is harder than Z Black Ops Three, and now fucking Black Ops Six is gonna be even more easier than Cold War. Cold War is somehow gonna become substantially harder than Black Ops Six somehow, and there's gonna be people who might even like have a weird argument about that and end up being right. It, it it's so. It's so stupid, man, but that's all I gotta say. That's my current thoughts when it comes up with Black Ops 6. Multiplayer, it looks pretty... I don't know. The maps are okay. We're getting 16 maps. We got maps covered. It's not gonna be like Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 where there's barely any maps and you're stuck playing the same old same ass maps over and over and over again and you're not having to look at every fucking corner because every, the map has to be so complex with the amount of corners that it has in it. The map has to be so fucking huge. There's, it's just camping galore. And the and the score streak nerf is interesting. I am not getting bombed every five seconds once I get into a match after someone starts popping off. But I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that. I like it, but I don't like it at the same time because it affects me as well because I can't get my score streaks and I can't go crazy with that either now. And zombies... We eaten good on the first map. Liberty Falls, I feel like they could give that map a couple updates, but if we want a challenging zombies game, we're fucking cooked. But other than that, that's my current thoughts of Black Ops 6. It's a bit shaky right now. It does not look like that's four years worth of work. And again, I do not give a shit that it's just a beta. 
unless they have like a weird secret like full-fledged four actual four years worth of uh work set aside and they give us this nerfed out shitty version of that four years full-fledged fully hard worked out black ops 6 game aside and just gave us a shitty beta then i guess i'm wrong but other than that it does not right now it does not look like it's been four years worth of work black ops 4 is better than this game it looks like but other than that hopefully hopefully they don't goof up this game because uh, i am if this game flops i might just quit buying i might quit buying call of duty for rest of eternity i might just end it and my call of duty series here and just stick with black ops 2 black ops 1 black ops 3 and i'll probably lurk when they do come out with black ops 2 remastered but other than that this is pretty much it this is on late night here and uh yeah that's all i gotta say <clears throat> finally glad to get this video out and i don't gotta drink other than that thank see you guys later this is on late night this is my thoughts on black ops 6 Goodbye.